So I've been beating around the property in this uh, Jeep Commander I got, trying to test it out and see how it can do. And I got it stuck pretty good on this mound of dirt. There's just it's it's sitting on the dirt. The wheels don't have any any grab. So <clears throat> I wanted to try out my uh, Greenworks winch on this. I've used it to pull logs before, but not to pull a vehicle. So. There's a couple of versions. The version that I have is the one that comes with the kit. So it's I think it's like 150 bucks extra, but you get the rope, uh, a couple of wraps to put around the trees. I put one on the tree, one on the axle and stuff, but uh, and a couple of carabiners. But it seems like it was worth it. Now this winch is different from regular winches in terms of how it works. It's like a cap stand. All right, so uh, this would really work out a lot better with two people but we're gonna do the best we can. So, this is tensioned on a snap block here to this tree. And I got this, these are hooked up underneath to the axle. So I'm gonna take the Jeep out of park. I'm gonna create some tension and we're gonna try to use this thing to hog it out of here. So the big difference with this capstan style winch is that you can use infinite feet of rope on it. There's, there's three wraps right at the winch, um, but the downside is you have to be at the winch and you have to pull the rope as it comes off the winch. So it's not really super ideal for off-roading, you know, where you get everything set up and then you have a remote that you can use the winch maybe like if you're in the cab or whatever and the thing comes loose and then you can put the brakes on it this just isn't that style unfortunately but it's what I got it's battery powered and I wanted to see if I could get myself out of a jam with it on my own um, the snatch block doubles it it's supposed to be a 2200 pound pull and uh, I've got it set up with this so in theory it can go 4400 pounds but it says 33, so I'm not sure what the rope is rated for. I'm using it with one guy. This would, like I had said, this would work out a lot better if there was two people, but this thing seems like it's going to do the trick. The nice part about this winch is that it's uh, totally independent of the Jeep, and I can, you know, pack that whole thing up into the bag and, you know, throw it in the back of the Jeep, and it's it's light enough I can carry it. It's not super light. I'm actually thinking of uh, setting this whole thing up in uh, like a backpack, one of those big style frame backpacks so that I can carry it around when I go to do uh, logging with it or pulling logs out of the woods. But that's a different story. We're going to get this Jeep out of here now, do our best. And uh, I just wanted to document this thing getting pulled. It only takes a couple of minutes to pack everything back up and put it in the bag, but I sped it up because it's not real exciting to watch that part, but it all goes back in the bag, bag goes in the Jeep, and we're ready to go. Now I'm going to see if I can turn this thing around and drive it out without having to winch it again. Now we're gonna see if we can get out. We got stuck coming in. I kicked a little dirt to the side, but I think the angles on this are just gonna be too much. But we'll see. We'll give it a try.